How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about probably the biggest thing that exists in old school RuneScape that I just personally cannot stand. Guardians of the Rift is not that good. I hear a lot of people saying that they love it, that it's a huge improvement on runecrafting. First thing I wanted to mention is purely when you're trying to get into it, how long it takes to actually start the game. The waiting in this one is kind of absurd. So if you look at Zolcano and Prifdinus, you can just join into a match in progress. The same thing applies up at the Winter Toad. If you look at Temporos, if a game is in progress and you join the boat, you just have to wait the starting time before you get to begin your own game. I wish we were able to just join Guardians of the Rift in a game in progress if it had under 200 people. The amount of time I've been stuck waiting outside of the barrier purely because it says, The game started when there were 160 adventurers inside of the portal. So how come I can't come in toward the tail end? I would even accept not having a end of the round XP bonus, just purely getting the XP from crafting the runes and the reward points that you get during that round. I feel like being able to join the game in progress as well as reducing the 30 seconds in between games about half of the time down to 15 seconds would improve it a lot, adds plenty of time for the people wanting to leave to be able to get out of the minigame as well as reduces the weight overall at the gate. Following off on that idea, we have, ready for this one, more waiting. The beginning of the game you get a small taste of actual gameplay either putting in a barrier or building one of the guardians and then going to another rock pile and sitting there for about another minute and a half to two minutes while you're just mining the fragments i don't really have a good way to improve on this section it's more of a complaint that it takes the time in between games from that 30 second downtime to actually extending it to about a two minute wait in between each round this is also the time that if 15 seconds in between rounds is too short, people are able to, at the beginning of the game, when nothing is happening, still exit if they choose to. This is a personal vendetta with the minigame. Guardians of the Rift introduced the runecrafting outfit, and that is now essentially a necessity for the runecrafting skill. The outfit doesn't actually increase the amount of experience gained, but it does increase the amount of runes that you craft. Each piece, I believe, gives 10% with the overall outfit increasing it up to 60% chance to give extra runes. While I like that this actually kept runecrafting's low XP rates as it's intended to be, the fact that the outfit benefits the skill by the increase of the rune yield has actually helped to bring down the price point. Runecrafting used not to be about XP per hour, it used to be about watching your cash stack grow, and now all the runes have become essentially their shop selling price. This isn't necessarily Guardians of the Rift's fault, but since Godder about a year ago, and then Tombs of a Masket in August, as well as now the Phantom Muspa, Tombs of a Masket gives the Blood Essence pretty often, and the Phantom Muspa drops Soul Runes. Both of these are tanking Zaya Runecrafting. Before Guardians of the Rift, you used to be able to pull about 800k to 1 mil an hour, and now on a good day, we're getting around 5 to 700,000. It wouldn't be so bad of an outfit if it didn't take about 50 hours to get. This is ridiculous compared to the other skilling outfits that take maybe one hour at most to two. If you're really unlucky, it could be maybe up to five hours in terms of the angler outfit or the rogues outfit. I will give it that I do like the pet and the pet transmog that is for the Rift Guardian that comes from the minigame. Since the minigame is underwater, the Abyssal Protector is just one of the Abyssal creatures that has a bunch of sea aesthetics put onto it. I also like the minigame transmog for the runecrafting pet to become the actual guardian of the minigame. That seems like the perfect thing to have locked behind a 50 hour grind in the store with Abyssal Pearls as opposed to making it be an extra added time grind on top of the scaling outfit. We could have easily had the outfit be maybe 10 hours at most and then had the other 40 that were supposed to be for the outfit go toward getting that pet change. But I think the biggest gripe that I have overall with Guardians of the Rift definitely comes down to it is the worst kind of gameplay that exists within old school RuneScape. The best gameplay is either completely AFK or it's going to be high intensity paying attention. While Guardians of the Rift never really gets to that high intensity point, it does require attention and it is the worst blend in between the slower skills such as agility where you're clicking about every two minutes and the more intensive skills like Hunter to where you're constantly clicking all the time. This is seen in Guardians of the Rift in between sitting around waiting for mining or sitting around waiting for the chiseling of the blocks. You're doing nothing in these time frames and then once it's up, if you're not paying attention, if you don't get the timing right, you're either going to come back from the portals late and miss the portal to go to the giant rock guardian 
Or if you're slightly off, you'll be heading to the Blood Rune Altar whenever that portal is open and getting there right as it ticks over to zero, making you waste your time. It's so frustrating to not only short yourself in terms of the runes that you're able to craft on that run, but also missing out on the one that you actually wanted to craft. Being a group minigame, also whenever you're not paying attention, not only are you hurting your own experience rates, but you're also affecting the entire minigame as a whole. I do like the way that the reward system goes with this minigame as opposed to Temperas or Winter Tot. You don't just get a crate to open or one giant stockpile with a huge number to fish out. You actually have to pay attention slightly to what you're doing in the game to even out your elemental and catalytic energies in order to actually pull rewards. You can't just focus on crafting blood runes the entire game and expect to actually get anything of benefit out of the minigame other than some runecrafting XP. That's going to about sum it up. Are you one of the people that think this was a needed update to the runecrafting skill? Do you prefer the old methods? Do you even like Guardians of the Rift at all? Positive? Negative? I'm curious to hear your responses, and we'll see you in the next one.